I'm gonna make something different. I've been asking about uh, making a blank album. So making the cover and making the black pages in it and without any design paper. And this is a special request. Uh, I'm not going to mention why she asked me to do that. That's totally private. And um, yeah, I thought of that a long time and I think I have to let it see how it goes. So yeah, I thought, why not? Why not do that and see how that went? I think it's a little boring, but okay. I'm just going to try it and see how it goes. So, okay, uh, we're going to make a blank album. So, okay, stay tuned and follow along if you like. First thing, the measurements are... Oh, perhaps I can take a better, a bigger one. Six one four, six one four, and that's in centimeters sixteen. Now I flip this over, and then this is eight one four by twenty one, I believe twenty one. So this is inch and this is centimeters. Now the spine, I like it wide enough. So I made this eight centimeters by 21. And that's in inches, well, let's say three inches by eight one fourth. All right. Yes, okay, that are the measurements. Now, I think 99% of you who watch this channel knows how I make a cover. So I'm going to skip that part because that's basic. All right. And if you do not know that, how that, how I do that, well, okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, that was the cover. Only forgot to squeeze my contact paper to the chipboard. But then it's done. Don't forget, especially on the edges, we don't want this to come loose. Alright, and then your cover is done. It's a nice size and um yeah, totally cool. All right, so let's go first to the outside. And yeah, this is going to be a blank album, but still I like to, that the person who gets this has a nice um, protection. 
All right, so I like to do some black paper on the front and back, so it's nice, a nice sturdy one. So I'm going to cut two pieces of paper, front and back, and then I'm going to use some black um, bookbinders linen just to give it a nice touch. Alright, and then um, perhaps I'm going to do this under the black. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's the next step. Next step, what I'm going to do, the outside is ready, ready to decorate whatever you're going to like. I use that black leather book binders, book bindings linen, so this spine is not going anywhere. You can fully uh, cover it with lace or paper or whatever. It's good for years. Alright, so now I'm going to add some black in the middle too, totally covering up. Okay, and that is 
the cover. So yeah, it went really quick. And um, so yeah, now it's time to make pages. And um, it's odd when you are not going to use um, design papers. But yeah, let's see if we can manage some nice papers in here. Um, yeah, let's start with uh, grabbing some black pages. I do not have enough right now at the moment, so I'm gonna grab more black pages. If you'd like to know what paper I use is, um, well, I have now a new pack, is this is Trophy from uh, Claire Fontaine, and I use 160 gram. It's actually, yeah, it's good for copy, laser, inkjet. So yeah, that is what I'm using. I just love using this paper. Uh, it's not that expensive, but also not that cheap, but I just love the quality of it. Whoops. All right, so that's enough. <laughs> Okay, I like to start on the inside cover and on the back side cover because, um, yeah, that is just what I like to do first. And <laughs> um, I like to add um, big pockets at the front and in the back. I always like to do that, so I think I'm going to do that now too. Um, yeah, so we can actually do... Oh, let me push this on the side we can make right away two pockets that's easy enough to do so I'm gonna grab an A4 and I am not scoring right away two all right first one hinge wow why did I not push that hard. That was way too. This is a fold line, Diane. Make a fold line, girl. This is a fold line. All right. All right. So now we have this um, this fold line right here. So I like to stay away at least. One fourth, yeah, something like that. Okay, so now we're going to make another fold line on that mark. And the rest we can cut off. Okay, so now we have made actually already two pockets now how deep do we want to make that pocket well uh, yeah the half is i think a little too much um is five too deep yeah i'm gonna make it four and a half that's a nice size so i'm gonna cut these at four and a half two then you always can use your leftover piece but this we can glue it in and then that is that simple something in the way again I know it because I have to squeeze so hard I know there is something in the way. Sometimes that is what it's doing. Yeah, I really have to squeeze way too hard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's inside. Ugh. Girl, the rest of the glue is already dry. <laughs> yeah that's it no it's not nope, nope, nope. I need to I need to make that 
All right, I'm going to first going to fix my glue. But we can add this nicely. And this is handy with a blank album because the person who gets this can now easily add design paper in that pocket over those hinges and then add something nice at the front. So that is super easy. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. At first I need to make my glue better open. Okay. Okay, I think I got it with my glue. There was a little lump bump in there what needed to take out all right that is way better and if you're not doing that right away then it keeps getting in the way and that's annoying me very very much all right so this is front and back cover That's that nice tight inside cover. Okay, now let's go to the hinges, now to the inside pages. Okay, we have made a three inch, well, we actually an eight centimeters, but um, let's say this is three inch. So I'm calculate this as three inch. So how much do we want? Well, I'm going to make this half inch from the side. And then I have left how much? Two one fourth. That means that I can make one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I'm going to make these nine sixteenth, if that makes sense. 9 16 9 16 and then I have a half left well that's why I have that I don't know but that's only 1 16 of I'm gonna make this a little just a little adjustment yes that's way better all right so i'm gonna make five pages in here and then um how wide do we want these a little yeah eight inches that's perfect a little smaller than the spine yeah let's do that so let's see what we want to do with that so if you are making a page, then first I made uh, the size of the length of your album. Then I'm going to cut my papers and then I'm going to um, make a little hinge, the yeah, half inch hinge. And I'm not going to make that extra double hinge for which I normally do. I don't think that this album is going to be too thick. I have no idea because we are not going to put any design paper in there. But I'm just going to show you how you can measure your inside pages. So I did my um, one uh, and a half inch. And now I'm going to do if... This is going to be in here because this piece is going to be right there. This is the best way I, I can show you. So this hinge is going to attach on the spine and then this will be not overlapping the cover. So the best way to do that, to measure that, is just see like this. See, so I'm going to hold this in till the same side as that groove, till the spine. And I'm just going to keep away while we can measure that. 
we're gonna keep away at least yeah we can we can make this six so I have a bit space on the left side normally I do like a half inch but this is I think this is a 3 8 away from that spine uh, end of this cover and I think that's okay so I'm gonna cut this page at six inch let me see you also can do a flip page if you like if you like that then let me do one with a flip page and one without so if I want to make a flip page that means that I need to score at six because the page is not going to be longer than six so I'm gonna make a score line at six okay so now we have a flip page on the other side see so this is my first page with a flip page All right so now we're going to make a base page so again I'm gonna cut this at eight cut this at eight then I'm gonna score at a half just a second this is way better that I already turn this open and you fold your spine and of course you can cut this already at uh, six and a half but I just love using this and then I'm gonna cut this at six of course six so this is just a base page you can do so much on it so yeah that is basically how I made some base pages all right so the next one eight inches Four at a half inch, fold it over, and then this one I'm gonna fold again at six. Okay. And then the next one again at eight. So it's it's two blank ones, two basic ones, and I believe three with a fold page already on it. Yay! So that's that. Oh, I need to fold it correctly. Black on black always is difficult but just adjust that yep all right so one with the fold line and we need one two three four five pages one base one with the fold one base and one with the fold all right so these are my base pages i'm not going to glue these in yet because we are going to make a little more activity on that so yeah let's get started on page one what shall we do on here 
so much we can do. What I always like to make is two pockets on top of each other with a lid with a nice closure. I just love doing that. So let's make that with some leftover pieces and the sides. Um, we're going to make it a little smaller, I guess. So, well, no, I'm just going to make this one. This is good. The same size. All right, well, let's start. I'm gonna. How deep do I want this? Um, let's say. Let me first measure the half of this. The half is eight, so this is four. Okay, four. That means that we can make this three. All right, so I'm gonna cut these two pages at three inches. So this we can still use. All right, first start, let's create a hinge on each piece. this to your page and make another fold line and cut it shorter. And then we can glue down the first one already in. Gosh, it's windy outside. go again place this on the left side and make another fold line this one on top that little mark we just made so that is on the half okay that's that let's grab the leftover pieces let's cut this at the same size as your pocket Let's make a hinge. Now I don't know if the person who gets this has a corner punch. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to use a corner punch. The person who gets this can make her own decision of making a of making, using, making, <laughs> of using a corner punch. I let that to you. Okay, I'm just going to apply this on top. And this, of course, against the bottom of that pocket. That's that. Okay, now the person who gets this has two options. They can, they can use magnets on here, but 
I normally prefer using that round button with a nice string. But that's totally up to you what you like to use. Okay. Then I'm gonna add some round ones. See some leftover pieces. So you have already some round pieces that you can use and but that's totally up to you. It's just an option. Okay there. I will put these in the pocket. Right here. Okay. Yes. Let's turn over our next page. Then we come to this page. On this page we can do so much. Um, I'm only going to make something on here, on the top. And then the inside, she can use this as, um, well, I want to say she can use this as a nice photo frame, but we'll see about that, what we're going to do. On here, uh, again, I do like having some pockets, but let's see, still have some leftovers, but let me first make a nice large pocket. I like that. Okay, let's see. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I think, I don't think that this is long enough. So I'm just going to go out another piece. Wait just a second. How deep do I like this? This one is 5, so I want definitely a 4 inch. So I'm going to cut this 4 inch making a hinge, fold this over, measure it up where it needs to be, make another fold line, cut this shorter, fold it over, And glue it in. Don't forget to glue down the bottom piece. Okay. And glue it in. So that is a nice size to make a nice big booklet. Yeah. This is for me the easiest way to do that. So I measure this up. I want to have that opening. And then see... I think this is a good size booklet. So I'm going to add right away a booklet in for her. So she has right away something to put inside. See, a nice booklet and this flips open. But we still can add something nice on here. What do you think? What do you think about a nice pockets. We do love pockets, don't we? So I'm going to score a flippity flop. And then I'm going to see what size it needs to be. Totally at the end or do we want 
a nice, yeah, I do like a opening so she can add a nice strip on it. Yeah, that means that I'm gonna need to measure this up at least a half inch away from that sideline. So, girl, if you watch this, add a nice strip on that piece. Oops. Okay, then cut this at the half. Okay, and now we can make nice two pockets. So again, I'm gonna measure the half. And that's four already. So, how deep do I like this? Yeah, I think again a three inch will do. All right, let's cut this at three. At three. Always keep that. Perhaps we are going to use it. And then add your first piece on here. And I always think that a page will come to its adjustment when the design paper is on. So yeah. Perhaps this is a totally boring page for you guys, but um, it normally will be better, of course, when there is design paper on. But for now, yeah, it, it looks totally to nothing, but just going to see how we can make a page without any. So you have to make sure that here there is a strip. Then you add design paper here and here and then in the pocket. That will be perfect. Then you can add design paper on the back and then you can anything what you like in here. Um, I think I'm gonna add a magnet on here. So if you don't have those, then I add that for you. I think you do have those, but then you know what I meant for this page. See, that good is <laughs> that piece of scissor. It just won't stick to tape. Okay, so that leaves us for the first page is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna add some double-sided tape on here. And then we can add first one in the album, so it won't get lost. Okay, I'm gonna fold this over. I'm going to add some extra glue, just to be sure. Alright, wrap your album. And then this goes right in here. I'm going to use my guideline to watch where I have made that pencil mark. And then I just watch up. And below, if my paper is straight, then I'm going to gently fold it over and see if it's straight on this side too. Okay, and when that is, then I'm going to push and push it in. page one. 
Okay, let's go to the next one. So check, check, check. See, this page is shorter than your cover. That is totally the meaning of it. All right, let's go to page two. Page two is totally blank. So with a totally blank page, we can do a lot. But what I like to do now is make a big pocket that is a half inch smaller than that page. Okay, so we can make a nice big pocket out of that. Make a fold line. Measure it up. Make a mark. And cut this shorter. And then on top of this one, we can add all kind of things that we... Oh, don't forget the bottom. We can add loads of things. But I think I like to make a nice belly band on here. Normally a belly band, I think it's a little boring to use on an simple base page but hey I, I do like a belly band but that's why I made a nice big pocket where we can add a nice big booklet so again I'm gonna fold an A4 in half I'm gonna check how wide it's gonna be and how deep I want it. And then I can cut it down. And then I'm gonna see if this fits. And it fits perfectly. Okay. Just let it dry, let the glue dry. All right, so now, yeah, what I said, I like to do a belly band, but I like to make a decorative belly band, so let's use a punch i'm working on a project which i use i use this punch already so i have it right away in front of me so why not use it i just love this one and it punches real nicely i think i have it already Yes, then I have to go to the other way around. Perhaps if I have some leftovers, I can add a few of these strips for you. So you can add these also on it. All right, but let me first focus on the belly band. So what I need to know, what I need to make is a hinge first. And I like to add that right here. Okay. Now I'm going to see where the other one needs to go. Oh, that fits perfectly. Oh my, that is just my luck. That fits perfectly in between these flowers. Okay, so I can cut this piece off. Oh, that's a shame. Can't I use you? Perhaps I can use you. Never know. <laughs> I always like to... Ah, oh, that is too cute. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's focus. Turn this over. And yeah, now the only thing we need to do is glue this down. And then the body band is ready to go. Gonna eyeball this in the middle. Yes. Okay, so when you are making um, this album, the design paper, of course, you know, you know the drills. You can make your page all the way to the top and bottom. Yeah, there you have a nice body pad. Ooh, cool. All right, so let's turn this over and let's go to the other page. Let's see, what can we do here? Hmm. I always like to use first my leftover pieces. So that is what this is. So I'm just going to see what it does. Cut this in half. And then make two hinges. Um, yeah, small size. Pull it. And then we can just add this. Wait just a second. Can we add two? Mm, no, but we can if we do it a funky way. Oh yeah. So the first one I let it go on this piece. Stay away from that fold line if you add something here. And then the other one, I let this on the bottom piece. Okay, see that's so nice, I like that. Now I do like pockets. You know I like that. So why not use this piece right here? It's a leftover piece. And that's already with a flippity flop. And I'm just going to reuse it. Make it another size. Fold it. And then I'm gonna cut this piece in half. See what size is this? Then this would be right there. Okay. So let's add a little pocket on down here. Just a little tuck, pot, tuck spot pocket, tiny one. And also on the other part. Over here. 
Now I don't know, but let's see. If we put the tag in here, then it all stays right there. So, girl, if you want to make this, add some design paper right on here. Uh, the background, the background uh, papers, of course, on the back. And then make a tag in here that is larger than this piece. So this piece right here stays there. So this will be the stopper for this page. All right, yay, cool. Another page is ready. So we can add another page in the album. Add some glue, yeah, yeah. I have a message, I know. Grab the album. And then just add this on your next mark. Keep the front and the top. Check it if you put this to the left. If it's straight, and it is. And then we can put this down. There we go. Yes. Alright, so we have pockets, pockets right here, and a pocket on here, and this flips open, pocket, 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 and a flip open with a magnetic, then we have a belly band, and a big pocket, and a left piece, and a right piece right there. Alright, that is cool. This is getting in the way each time I flip this open. So perhaps we need to adjust that to perhaps cut this right away. Or I need to use my corner punch. I actually don't want to do that, but well, I'm gonna see what, what I'm Girl, you need to cover this up a bit. I think we're gonna make that a little shorter. All right, so let's go to the third page. Yay. Oh my gosh, this is actually not looking anywhere, but it is, it's going to be nice when you add your design paper on. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, everybody. It's so early it's monday morning and god it's so dark outside and so rainy and i am so not in the mood to do anything on my housekeeping it's too dark so i thought mm, just do what you love first and then when i hope when it's getting a bit lighter then i will see more of course to do my housekeeping so i'm just going to do first what i love today and just start on a few pages and then see i think about 11 or something i don't know but getting starting first yeah get awake <laughs> oh gosh i had a terrible terrible waking up this morning oh, so i thought do first what you love, get happy, get physical, happy, get awakey, wakey, wakey. So, what's the best way to start Monday morning? Yay! With you guys. So, okay, let's get starting. Let's grab a nice cup of hot tea 
and um, put some nice sugar in it so we can wakey wakey I'm not a coffee drinker so I am not with a caffeine person so I need to get awake with a little sugar all right so let's get started oh. <laughs> Okay, we may, we are working on a blank album and we need to make three pages and this one was the, yeah, now we have another one with the flap. Alright, so let's see, oh my gosh, I'm so wondering how this go ends. I think I need to make a few more of these so that comes back a bit more okay so what page can we do on here let's think just for a moment okay let's do two doors so i'm gonna make a door page so the first thing that i'm gonna do is measure the size of my page let's cut this out oh my gosh i do not see that especially when it's too dark and of course we do have my lights but still very dark in this corner okay that's good let's make two flippity flops First one here, and I think I want to make a belly band. So I'm gonna make it deeper. So I'm gonna make two score lines, half inch and then one eighth or one fourth. Is this a one fourth? Always can't remember that. That's a one fourth, though. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make another one on the other side. Half inch and a one fourth. Okay. Fold it over. I just have to tell you that this project is actually a project that I had no plans for doing it but yeah someone gave me the just the right the right um, I call that the right yeah not meaning not um, the right reasons to do this so I just thought hmm why not do this in between because I am actually working on another project right now but she made me convinced to do this and I thought why not um, yeah let's cut this that's one door right here and the other one I'm going to cut while this is on oops so I'm going to shake my arc little glue And put the first door on the right spot. There it is. Okay, so that's number one. I'm gonna 
at number two and I'm just going to apply this and yeah stay till that mark and then I can cut it okay let's add this that page but I even forgot to put my ring on <laughs> see how quick I got out of bed so happy that it was Monday morning <laughs> all right so yeah this is cool nice with an expandable or oh, not expandable a thicker page so i like to make a waterfall inside here so a waterfall can be closed with two of those string closures always forgetting how that is called with two little round pieces of paper and then with a nice thread all right, um, let's see how white we like the, I think we are going to make this 5, 3, 4, is that a nice side for picture, normal pictures are Four by six. Well, yeah, five, three, four. That's a little smaller than a six. Six by four. So I think that's a good measurement. So I'm going to make this five, three, four wideness, and I'm going to make this four, one, four. That's a good size for a waterfall for a nice picture. So five three fourth and then four one fourth plus that half inch that's four three fourth. So five three fourth by four three fourth that's the measurements that I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna make one with you guys. So it's four three fourth. Five, five, three, four. Oh, and that's what my fist cross is not having. That's the only thing that I don't like at this fist cross. But I'm gonna make a mark for that. That's really the only reason. The rest, I just love my fist cross. Oh, that is totally in the middle of that fold line all right that i know okay so that's totally in the middle of the fold line let's check that out if that is correct yes that's correct all right well, i'm just going to make a fold line and then my first waterfall is finished Yes. Okay, yep, that fits perfectly. All right, and how many can we make? Well, then the first one, I'm just going to line, in, line this up at the bottom. Then I'm going to grab my ruler and see how many I can make. Now, let's start at the top. That means it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can make it at eight. So I'm gonna make eight. So I'm gonna make seven more of these. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna turn this over. So I will see better. Let's get started with the first one. If my glue wants to open up. It's 
always when you have this too long open, then it will dry. But it's such an amazing glue. So I'm going to start at the top. And the first one needs to be absolutely straight. Because that means the rest will go straight too. Grab the next one and place this against that other one just on the bottom of that hinge. Again, see if this is straight. Check it with the first one, but also when you flip this up. Okay, and when that is, you can burnish it down. And so we go, continuing till the bottom. Place it down. Check if this is straight. Check top two. And then again, check the bottom. Yep. And then I burnish it down. So I need to be quick with this one, with this glue. But if you have a glue that is less quick dry, then you have a little more, a little bit more time. But my glue, the Arglet glue, dries really fast. So I have to be quick with this. So check. Then flip over. And when I am satisfied, then I burnish it down. That's why I don't like to use tape with this one, because I like to check. So I'm going to check the front, check the back, see, and that is where I want to wiggle a little. So I go back and forth. Now it's both sides. Perfect. Okay. Let's put the next one on. Okay. Check. Oh, this one is very much off. Okay. this one but it's off and when it's off that means that I think it's totally warm with the fold line already so I'm gonna check it out if the next one is also very very not good yeah this one is too so it's not it's not the next one. I think this one is off. Oh no, this is pretty good now. Nope, this is good. Okay. Next one. I hope the person who gets this Send me pictures when it's ready. When all papers are, all design papers are in this album. I hope she sent me pictures because I am very curious how this. I think, I think. Can we make one more? Mm. Well, we could, we could, we could, we could. Let's check it out. Put this. Oh, I'm gonna see if this works now. Let's check it out. Check a little. Check. Oh, yeah, now it's working better. I don't know why. It does, does not work on that other one, but now it works. Okay, so 
So that is our waterfall. Nicely straight, and here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pages where you can add lovely pictures on. And then um, this is the closure with that string. Cool. Or any, you can also make a nice magnet uh, on here, or a swing tab with a nice magnet. That's also possible. So there are lots and lots and lots of possible ways to close this door. But yeah, cool. Let's go to the background of this one. Okay, next page. I like to make this shorter. How short? Um, how short? Well, let's make this Three and a half. Yes, I'm gonna make this three and a half because I want to make this as a pocket kind of a way. Ah, this is a good size. Okay, just make a fold line. And then measure this. And make another fold line. Or a flippity flop. Where's my scissor? Oh, here it is. That is the first one. I think we're gonna make another one on the back. Why not? So let's do something odd. So this is going to be a big one. Oh, of course. We need to make that as a pocket. This side we have a nice big pocket, and on the back we are going to make two small pockets just to give it a bit play time. Going to measure the middle. And it's waning and waning. Gosh, I hear the big water drops on my window. Then I feel very, very, very sorry for my partner who works outside on the streets. So perhaps he is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make this on this side. Nope, I'm gonna make this on the other side. Um, so. Perhaps he is going to be very, very soon back home again. Because when it's all day waning, then they have to sit in their car all day. And that's for nobody nice. So perhaps he's getting early home.
who knows? Can't blame him with this weather. Ugh. the bottom and then just place this against that other one here we go there we go that's enough for this page so a nice big one and perhaps it's nice to put already something in. Let's cut this. Um, yeah. I'm going to make this as a big photo mat that will fit in here oh but of course it needs to be fitting right here make this shorter needs to be fit right here too okay so this fits in here see right here and then on the other side we need Two of these, and these need to be exactly the same size. Um, let's make this fitting. Two, two tacks. a little smaller otherwise it looks awkward okay this is a good size of a tag yes like that all right so that is for this page and um, yeah I will not you can make a closure on this one perhaps a magnet on here if you like shall I make a magnet on here well I'll just do that for just so you can see there is a possibility to add a closure on it if you prefer and if you don't and you just can't leave that magnet alone but this you can use as a closure all right yep big pockets two small pockets and a big one for making a nice photo mat or decoration all right cool let's put this in the album <laughs> Add some extra glue. to make sure that this is flat for just a moment this one needs to go in here stay a little over that edge yes
So yeah, bring the door back. Nice, this fits perfectly. Perfectly nice. Cool. All right. Yep, 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 yep. This still gets in the way, but I think when it's having a closure and a wound paste, then it will be good. All right, so let's go to page four, and that's without a full lap. Um, what else can we make in here? We have a waterfall, flip pockets. Pockets, pockets, oh, a few flip pages perhaps. Okay, okay, next page. I want to bring back that um, edge. I'm going to make first a pocket. So I'm going to score at a half inch. Mark where I want that other fold line, then I can cut this shorter. Still can use that. Do this pocket inside. Don't forget the bottom. So you can fix your background paper all the way down. Then I'm going to make two flippity flops that will fit exactly above this edge. So I'm going to measure this up. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to cut two of these. Two of these measurements and they are nine and a half centimeters. Two flippity flops so I can measure. Okay, let's see. Now, the first one, measure this on the left side. And at the end of that page. Um, I'm going to make it a little different. So I'm going to make this a nice pocket. But I'm not going to glue this down just yet. So if the person who gets this... then you need to put down design paper first on here. I will mention this. Design paper first. Then glue. See, and then add glue on here to 
close this pocket. So you have a nice little tuck spot. Okay. Then we go to this page, this flippity page, and just stay away a little from that edge. This one I'm going to make it as a photo mat. Decoration. And then this goes right here. Pocket of nice flip page page and then it would be nice if you have a nice stopper so make this fitable not too high otherwise you don't see anything Okay, cut this down on the white spot. And then this is your stopper. Yeah, cool. Alright, so that is what it is. Nice pocket, nice decoration, which you don't see right now, but now you see. And then a nice booklet. This is a little tuck spot, and then this goes to the left and the right, and you still can add something on the back here too. Alright, so that is this page. Let's go to this one. Okay, you know I like to make pockets, so I'm going to make some pockets on here too. So let's add some Little flops. Okay, let's measure here. Big pockets at the bottom. And then another pocket. On top, and you would say, hmm? Is that a pocket? Yes, a big pocket. A big pocket behind it. Okay. But I'm not going to glue the, the bottom of this one, otherwise it's going to be a small pocket of course, but I want to make this a large pocket. Alright, so I'm going to glue this down just on top of this one. I'm going to leave it just a millimeter open. Okay, so it will be nice if you put your um, design paper, um, do I have a small piece right here, yeah. So if you have your design paper, you can let this a little go in here and so you have your first pocket really nice covered up. See, so if you put your design paper right here. In, in here. You can, you can also make this right here, but then, yeah, I think it's nicer when you put your design paper a little in this pocket. Yes, and then for the back you can add loads of things in here. And at the back you just have to, just a little lower, put your design paper on here. 
okay but make sure that if you put your design paper a little lower then you don't glue it down do you know what I mean so <laughs> I have to explain this if you put your design paper on top here then there is nothing to worry about but I like to make this a little lower in here but then you make sure that you only put glue on this pocket not in here otherwise you can't put something all the way down yes only shovel it in and only glue on this pocket not in here all right yeah I hope you understand that <laughs> I'm gonna make a nice big booklet in the back for you already so you can use it right away make this fit perfectly a little shorter a little smaller Okay, so a nice big booklet for the back. So you now if you put your design paper in, then it won't get stuck. Oh, it needs to be a little shorter. So your booklet will fit in here when your design paper is in here. Yes, a nice booklet and a nice tag at the front five inches let's make it five inches and i don't want this too high well six can Right, and a nice tag at the front. Yes, that's cool. Let's add it. Yay! It's getting lighter and lighter. But it's still waiting. <laughs> oh, my tea is getting cold. Oh. Mm -mm. Yes, it's cold already, but I don't mind. All right, let's go at it. Our boring blank paper album. And let's add this on that mark. Check, check if this is straight with the other ones. And when I'm satisfied, then I'm gonna burnish it down. All right, now the last one, the last one, I want to point it to the left, not to the right, but to the left. So this hinge needs to fold down the other way and that is at the point where i am going to add already my tape so i'm not forgetting that so this one is going to be in here on the other side yes all right let's see what we can do more we have a pocket page. Um, yeah, we definitely need some flippable page. I want some flip pages. Okay, it won't stand. Yep, there it is. Okay, now on this side we do have, but I want on this page also a bit more flippable pages. Yes. Okay, for this one I'm gonna use my punch this one to use it as a closure so I'm gonna 
fold this in half. I'm gonna split this in half. And then I'm gonna make a fold line. And I'm gonna make it a little extra so we have the place. Fold this over. Now the next one is a little harder, but we can manage. Okay, so we have a little more space. Okay, let's fold the first one. Keep it straight. Let's do first this one. Okay, and then the next one. It's easier. Alright, so I'm going to start with adding these. Yes, so these are the closures, which you can add on each way a nice twing that you can tie this up. Alright, so let's grab a page and let's make this, um, I'm going to make this one inch shorter than the normal page is so this is six so i'm gonna cut this at five cut this at five let's make a flippity flop on each side Split this in half. Let's split this in half. Okay, let's add the first one. And of course, the other one on the bottom. Let's check when you are straight. You want to be that this is the same, the same one. one page two page and this is the closure but I want on the side two and on the side I want to do also a one inch shorter so I'm gonna cut this this is eight so I'm gonna cut this at seven I'm gonna do this exactly the same. 
going to make a score line or a flippity flop. Oh. Flippity flop. Flop, flop, flop. from that fold line you don't want to overlap that okay that's one and now this piece right here check if you are straight Yes, I am. All right, so that is that for this page. That looks amazing, and then this is the closure. Yay! Cool. I like that. That is amazing. All right, then let's go to the other side. Oh, this goes really quick. <laughs> okay, on top of here, I want I want three pockets. So I am gonna cut three pieces. There are two, one fourth. I did a little measurement before I figure out that measurement so I'm gonna cut three pieces that are two one fourth yeah I like that so I have one inch left okay so I'm gonna score first all three half inch same every way so that's five for one here we go a good time I thought it was bo it would it would be boring making a blank album but I yeah I just always love to see the end results when you are putting your design paper on because that is the best way to let's go the other way that's the best way to uh, show how a page is going to be turned out so yeah, it's still a little boring, but I still like creating these pages, but 
it's just different. It is. It's just different. And of course, it's a little quicker to do. And these, I'm gonna, I'm not going to, um, these I'm gonna shut down. I wanna make two, uh, three short, short pockets for a little tags. Not all the way down. So these I am going to glue down. Otherwise we have quite less short pockets. So that is why I do this. Okay. So that is our three little pockets. I'm going to make right away a few tags in here that are four and a half by four. But I also can make a booklet out of it. That is also possible. So let's say this needs to be cool. See a nice booklet or two small tags, just use your leftovers and that is cool. Okay, two little ones in here. And then one at the back. Let's see, do I have a leftover piece? I want to make a booklet. I want to make a booklet that is four and a half. one needs to be shorter I think. Oh that's a pretty short booklet. Mm -hmm. That is a short tag. Well let's make this a booklet too. Four. And let's make these shorter. That's, I think, a better way. Yeah, nice ATC card. Two of them. Yes, all right. And then on the inside, I I don't know why I'm wetting my finger, but just need to grab two magnets. Okay, I'm gonna use that. In just a second. I think I'm gonna leave this and just make one big pocket. What size? Well, let's make this four and a half. And let's use some decoration for the last time. Oh, and then it's almost done. Super excited. I can't wait to see her face when she's getting this. Oh, darn. Don't, don't, don't. That's not good. That is not good. Starting all over. That's why you are getting it way too fast. Take it easy. Don't wash things. Yes, that is better. That is way better. Okay, let's make a liberty follow up. Take it 
from that fold line and here too let's make another flippity flop keep this straight cutting this short always like to save these I don't know why but So that is our nice big pocket at the end. Don't forget the bottom. That was not meant to be. Here, of course, she can add anything in there for what she like. Okay. Oh yeah, and then last closure. I'm gonna make this. And there is our closure. Yay! Cool. Alright, let's put it in our last page. If it's straight, and it is. Alright, that's that. Now, I always add some nice strips in between here. That's totally up to you if you like that too, but I normally do. But it's, that, it, it's actually not needed, but if you like to do that, then it's totally up to you, girl. Okay, um, yeah, wait just a second. I'm gonna use these. I don't want to throw these away. We are not going to throw everything away. Let's see if I can fix this. Perhaps I'm going to do this like this. See, we can use that as. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Okay. You can use these as a little name tag or something. Something on here or something like that. So I will keep these in here so you can use that. Alright, girl. Your request is done. Oh. There is just one more. Just one more. Um, oh my god, oh, where is my little needle? Where is my little needle? Oh, here it is. You always get lost of these ones. And I know there are little pieces like this, but I'm just not fond of this wonky piece. But it's always not getting straight. See, it's too wonky. It's too 
so I'm just using my needle because it's stronger. All right, let's see. All right, so we do have five pages. So I just made a blank album. Oh my goodness, first time ever. And um, yeah, okay, so we have two uh, pockets with a, and this is still, get, I need to get this in an, in an angle. I'm gonna fix that. Um, two pockets, and here are two pockets, and this is a big pocket, and then this opens so you see, can add a nice. Um, photo covering up then we have here let me use a nice one we have here a nice big belly band we have a big pocket right here then this flips open we have two pockets right here but this opens up but she still can make this as a closure see if you put something in here that's larger and this will be the closure. Then we have an open page, open door and door page, where you can use any closure you like. And then we have an eight waterfall page. Then on the other side, a big pocket and two little pockets on this side, a magnet closure. Then we have a pocket closure, a tuck, pot, tuck spot right there. This opens to the left and to the right. Then this nice big booklet will uh, close that down. Then we have a big pocket and a big pocket on the back. And then this one, this is the closure. So you can wrap this up. And then this flips up, up, left, right. So lots and lots of space for photos. And here we have three little pockets. One, two, three. And in the back, magne magnetic closure. And here is also a big pocket. And then on the inside cover, uh, there are two big pockets where you can add loads of things. I'm going to change this a bit. And then it's done. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time.